on how to stand up to these peacefully, verbally, so, you know, there's, there's, there's no physical confrontation. Um, and, and I think a lot of people are going to learn from that and go away and, and implement these and implement Albert Burgess's um, plan of action in, in um, going to the police stations and serving them with the, all these notices of treason and so on, like, you know. Um, so, you know, and we've seen the movement grow rapidly at a phenomenal rate now, you know, so it's, it's great, the hope's out there and we're doing it, people, you know, so keep fire, keep it fired up and keep at it and keep at it and keep at it because that's what they're doing, you know, but the, the, the advantage is on our side because they haven't got truth on their side and they're always hiding, so, you know, keep it up. Cool. Do you like to say a few words? Yeah. What's important is that people are starting to understand what's going off behind the scenes, behind what the newspapers and the BBC and ITV and Sky News is telling us. People are beginning to understand that the government uses denotices and gagging orders to stop the truth, uh, real bad truth coming out, such as paedophile rings in which um, government ministers are involved in, and uh, such like um, shootings in Dunblane and how they're all related into paedophile rings and, and uh, government ministers. We know what pe pe people like Peter Mandelson gets up to, uh, George Robertson, people like that, and it's, it's really disgusting, and um, people are starting to realise this. Not, they, don't, they don't care what's in the newspapers anymore. They don't care what the BBC or uh, that guy Preston is telling us on, on uh, the news. They're starting to find out the information, and people are starting to get really angry. Um, but they're going to divert that energy, that anger energy, into doing something very positive and lawful. And that's the whole point of this conference, is that this is about lawful rebellion. It's not about violence. It's not about breaking the law. It's not about um, going to London and going on to protesters and, and beating up policemen, because the people here just want peace. They just want to respect the constable who has the, the job at law to keep the peace. And that's all we want. And um, people are now starting to realise that the police aren't doing that job. They're breaking their oath of office. And that what they're actually doing is um, enforcing government policy, the corporation's rules. And that's what government is. It's a corporation. That's what the police are, a corporation. And you can go to, like what, it was said, what was said in this, in this uh, conference today, is you can go into places like Dunham Bradstreet and um, you, can, you can see exactly who, who and what is a corporation. And that's exactly, when we're dealing with corporations all the time, we're dealing with contracts all the time, the police try to get, get us on these contracts, although we don't realise that's what is actually happening. And they, they use misleading statements to entrap us in, into going to court or coming under statutes which, which are only uh, uh, government policies. It's, the statutes aren't laws, they're only enforced by law through consent. And people are starting to realise this now. People are starting to take action and do something about it. Cool. All right, cheers. Absolutely fantastic. I'm really exhilarated about what, happened, what went on today and what was said. And I really feel now that it could be the start of a new way forward for the decent, honest people in this country. And we can get things sorted out and we can stop being victimised by a traitorous government. Um, I, it, I, th I think that we've got some real honest men here who are really concerned about what's happening in this country and to the, and to the, uh, the people of the country. And I just hope that it will, be, it will go forward with great success. And I think the, the men who spoke today are some of the greatest men Britain's ever produced. How did you find today? Very good. Um, I suppose we're living in the heart of the football country. Stoke and Manchester City are playing at home, and there's probably about 30 plus thousand people there. We, uh, we've had a meeting here today, which is extremely important. People have come from length and breadth of the country, and we've had probably about 500 people. And it's been worthwhile. Um, and the sooner that people stand up to be counted, um, we've patronised these people in government for far too long, showed them far too much respect, and um, we have a, 
um, a group of people now who uh, are taking on the um, people that are responsible for the downfall of this country. There are lies, lies, and more lies coming out from this government. And um, we are hoping that we can prove to people that we are worth listening to and um, hopefully we can do that in a very short time and see a change for the betterment uh, for this country. Thank you. You could always today. I think it's been absolutely brilliant. You've got a hall here which seats 1,200 people. The whole of the ground floor was packed. We still don't know how many, but it's got to be five, 600 people, maybe more. And the important thing is we've talked about the real agenda. Britain is being destroyed. We know that the three main parties are working in collusion to destroy it. And we've now finally got to the situation where activist groups realise they've got to work together to challenge that. So I'm extremely excited that uh, what we've done is started a giant network going. And it will not be stoppable because we're not going to have an organisation, we're not going to have committee meetings. This is ordinary people acting together. If I was Gordon Brown, I think I would be very worried. So it's been a great success. How did you find today? Well, it, it was a very instructive, very good day. I think everybody felt that they were with friends. And I think everybody wants to get their country back, and that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Thank you. How do you find today? Um, what a fantastic so, conference. Yeah. Is this the beginning of justice for the people and by the people? We've been ripped off long enough regarding all walks of life in this country. And as far as our politicians, they have destroyed our country rather than added to it. And my main cause for concern is childcare services, which is fatally flawed and is well overdue for public scrutiny regarding the service they provide our children. I sincerely hope this is, what, this is a day forward that we will bring about change, that our humanity is top of our agenda and respect for humanity is what life should be all about. Yeah, how do you find today? I think it's been a, you know, it's been a great privilege, actually, to, uh, to speak today at the uh, BC Group Conference um, on the invitation of Brian. Um, I think it covered a lot of ground here, and uh, it's a lot of food for thought for people. And, uh, yeah, it's the first time for me, so I'm um, you know, just pleased to have had the opportunity, really, to you know, get some alternative uh, uh, views on, on the financial system in particular. Uh, across the people, okay. I think it's, it's, you know, we, we, we're not going to move forward from here if people don't understand where we've come from. Um, so, yeah, it's been, been a privilege and a pleasure. It was absolutely fantastic, really, honestly. It was, it was I've learned a lot, and I study commercial redemption, and I study um, different things that people were talking about today, um, but I've learned a lot more. And um, it was very exciting. I'm going to be letting my friends and people know about um, what, what, what I've learned today. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I would invite everyone to join and look, at, look up the website and find out for themselves. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you.